Okay, guys, my name is Yomi Martins. Welcome to Time Out with Yomi Martins. And in today's edition, we, are, we have a special guest, a friend of mine for, let's say, uh, close to 10 years. We have known yeah, each sure. other for more than yeah. 10 years right now. Yeah, more than 10 I know years. I, came in, I came in from Port Harcourt and, uh, yeah. and all that, and I came to a branch of one of the international banks based in Nigeria, and I yeah. met him in the audit department, and he's a fantastic yeah. guy. His name is yeah. John Opo, yeah. and yeah. Um, the beautiful thing that we are going to be talking about today is another money-making crypto um, sector, and it's a specialized sector. It's not like spot trading. It's not like margin trading or leverage trading. We are going to be talking about NFTs, non-fungible tokens. And I am bringing up John right now uh, to talk about it because John has developed himself over time to be like a mini veteran in that field. So uh, welcome, John. Welcome, John, to Time Out. Thank you, Thank you very Time much. Out. You can just yeah, say it's... a thing or two about um, yourself to the, to the viewers. Yeah, just like you said, I've been in audits and um, I left Nigeria three years ago for Canada. And um, I continued in that line of, um, should I call it business? Yeah. So, <laughs> but I specialize in AML compliance. I and break um, down the AML to viewers because not yeah, anti -money, anti money laundry, okay. anti money laundry compliance, which means you know, we fight those that um, make money from illegal means and try to make it clean, just like it says, money laundry. You know, washing it yeah. to make it look legitimate, and. Um, that's before I came in contact with uh, crypto in 2017 or so. But I traded it a bit. I, was, I didn't pay so much attention to it. But when I came over here in Canada, um, the adoption rate has increased and it became an issue for us in, uh, in anti money laundry because just like um, I said before, it, you can easily use Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies to move your funds from one country to another easily without regulation. So the regulators started looking into it and banks also started looking into it. And because a lot of people didn't know much about cryptocurrency, they were so afraid. They didn't want anything to do with cryptocurrency. And um, I seem to be like a lone ranger in advocating for crypto. Okay, fast forward till today, uh, sometime in 29, uh, 2021, yes. That was around my birthday in October. Uh, before then, I was in a kind of a webinar or like a meeting with fellow uh, AML compliance um, colleagues. They were discussing NFT. I didn't know much about it. So I said, wow. If I'm in this field, I should not, because somebody was saying that NFT is just a way of laundering money. So I wanted to know more about it. And um, I started reading up, watching videos, uh, listening to other AML compliance, going for webinars and stuff. Um, now I think I'm very comfortable with uh, NFT. If you look at the background, that's one of the NFTs I bought like um, five days ago. And I'm sure you're very That's, happy with it. That's why it's like your Yeah, I'm very happy with it. WhatsApp I like it. And all that. <laughs> yeah. And it's called Laid Back Llama. Wow. Yeah. That's okay. one of the llamas there, Laid Back. Okay. So, happy. yeah. And a lot of things, like we were discussing previously, when people watch um, videos on YouTube and listen to YouTubers, they will tell you, man, just come in here, you make millions. It, it takes time, there's a learning curve. And I advise anyone that wants to come into NFT to be patient. Uh, also have it at the back of your mind that you lose some, you get some. In fact, you lose first before you start making profit. And even then it, it's not going to be consistent. You'll still be losing. Okay. So a lot of people will be asking just like my wife does, what is this NFT? It doesn't make sense. Why would you buy a JPEG for $50,000? Why would you buy it for $1,000? Just a JPEG. Anyone else can just uh, make a copy of it. Yeah. So let's start from 
non-fungible tokens. What is a token? Okay. You know, token is just um, um, how cryptocurrencies are denominated. Okay. Uh, so, and um, now non-fungible. What is fungible? Uh, fungibility is just a uh, ability of a good, a good or a product or an asset to be interchangeable, and you, you know being able to split it too. So, for instance, if you have um, one thousand naira, you can split it in hundred naira uh, bills or yeah. fifty naira bills. You won't lose its value. It will still be one thousand dollar, uh, one thousand naira, yeah. and you can also. Um, let, let's let, let, let's be talking someone... in dollars right now because you know we okay. have an international audience. <laughs> okay, okay. So, so let's say you give someone a hundred dollar bill. You, the person you can exchange it for two uh, two fifty dollar bills or five twenty dollar bills. So, but you see, in non fungible token, you can't do that. Or even in Bitcoin, uh, let's say a lot of people can't afford to buy one Bitcoin. They can buy 0 0.001, 0 0.01 or something like that. Call it yeah, you part, can't, yeah. yeah. So, but in non-fungible tokens, you can't do that. Look at the picture behind, you can't split it. Yeah. Okay, so you have to buy one of it. And like these llamas, when they, when they released it, I think there are 10,000 llamas. You can't even exchange one for another. Like this, my this my own can I can sell it for like say eighteen hundred dollars, and someone else can sell his for twenty five hundred dollars. Why is that so? Okay, we'll go into that later. Okay, okay, thank you. That's just basically much. introducing non fungible tokens. Beautiful. So like yeah. just like you are, we can't be exchanged, right? Yeah. I can't like come home to your wife. I say, hey, I'm your meeting. No. Yeah. I say I'm only me. No, 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 no. She can't exchange you for me or me yeah. for you. So yeah. that's how it is. And even your children, you can't exchange one for another. They are yeah. they are individualistic. So Unique. this is yeah. this non-fungible token is just um, a principle to explain. Uh, 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 that's just an application of that principle. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. You you're talking about how unique each. Um, picture that you're buying or each jpeg let's be a bit yes. sarcastic right yeah. now yes each JPEG, jpeg you're buying they are very very unique, unique. and it is owned by the person that has purchased it you can't yes. break it up and all that stuff yeah. now i'm sure our viewers because the the title of this particular edition is how to make money from nfts for beginners yeah. so basically how did you start how did you start your nft trading and how would you advise someone that wants to start trading in NFTs to go about it? Let's start from that point. Okay. So how I started was, I actually wanted to um, be prepared. I, I, I had an, a job interview with um, a crypto company. They asked me, do you know crypto? You know, Because it's crazy employing someone in a bank that doesn't have a bank account. Yeah, you, you will struggle to understand what the business of the bank is. So yeah. I say, yeah, I know crypto. I do some hodling that's um, holding Hold on, on for dear life. life. <laughs> yeah, I do some trading sometimes. And because I don't have a lot of time, I do more of hodling than trading because trading requires a lot of time, but investing doesn't. Yeah. And um, so that was it. And even... Well, sometimes when I discuss with fellow AML um, colleagues, I see some of them have even NFT. I say, wow, I need to know this too. Okay. So that was how I got sucked in. And um, at least now I can discuss it because you can't learn this things by just reading the theories. There are things you stumble on just because you practice it, you buy and sell. And this field is a little, why it's not, the adoption is not yet very widespread. It's, it's a lot of, a kind of technical, it's easy to lose money. One or two mistakes you make, you, you, you lose your money. So when, it's, uh, when the interfaces are more user-friendly, I think a lot of people will come in. And I also wanted to be in this field because 
when the widespread adoption comes, I'll probably be an expert or an authority in it. So that's how I got sucked in. Now, the first thing I did was to study what's NFT. I went to several pl platforms to look at. The first is OpenSea. And okay. um, yeah, uh, I can Open uh, share website. my screen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, please do. So, please do. Okay. So um, let me. Uh, Oh, I can't share my screen. I don't know why. Uh, uh, is it that you need a permission? It's a host. Uh, just enable me. Sorry, where do I do that? I've, I've not I, shared. I don't screen. know. Um, would it be under security or something? I think, I don't know. Hold so, on. okay. Okay. You, you, I can on, just be let talking about why you look yes, for it. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. So, um, my first visit was to OpenSea. That seemed to be the the most popular. Okay, I've done NFT. it. Allow participant to share screen. Okay. Yes, it's under security. Okay. Allow participant to share screen. I've done that. Okay, so yeah. So this is um. This is OpenSea. That's yeah. the most popular. Uh, NFT marketplace. Um, so you look at these are the top collections in the last seven days. Okay. Uh, Board AP Yacht Club. Okay, let me open it. So you see here they have 10,000 items with 6,100 owners and 83.3 um, ETH floor price. What this means is the cheapest um, board ape, these are the board apes, the JPEGs, okay? The cheapest is, let's, let's see what, uh, what ETH is selling now. ETH is selling for, Okay, Ethereum is it's about selling 3, 000, for yes. $3,336. And the floor here is 83.3. So 83.3 times 3,033, I think, yeah. Yeah. So the cheapest board ape is $277,000 for one JPEG. Okay, so a lot of people, I, I, I know I can't afford this now, so I'll go somewhere else. Let me go back to the... Um, open C. Open, uh, go back to the list. Okay. So, okay. Um, okay, let me just go to ranking. Volume, floor price. I can say um, some cheaper floor prices there. Yeah, there yeah. 2. Crypto stocks two point two, um, two point two. Azuki two point five seven. Yeah. Even at this, uh, it, that would be a uh, okay. Two point five seven is how much dollars? Two point five uh, five seven. In it's, Ethereum, right? Uh, These are in Ethereum yeah, prices. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 2.57 is um, about seven thousand dollars yeah. plus. So now I, I won't go for this. Yeah. So when you look at this uh, open sea, you see that it's a really you see a lot of high, let me call it blue chip um, NFTs here. Yeah. So you can see see the cheaper ones. Let's sort this. I, yes. Uh, this in from highest order, to lowest. Yeah. Or I can do lowest to highest. See, there's at least I can afford this. Other point people, one. Can, like, 0 0.06. Yeah. 
Even zero um, point uh, zero point one is there. Yeah, so one can buy this, but okay, let's just pick up one. Um, okay, look at this. Let's say I want to trade in this. The yeah. kind of things I look out for. Okay. Uh, what's the activity in this? I go to the activity. Um, okay, the activity here is quite. It's quite uh, liquid. That's another thing with NFTs. NFTs are not as liquid as cryptocurrencies. How do you know that they are Other liquid? Crypto... What do you look for? Okay, look at here. You see time. 10 minutes ago, one was bought. 22 minutes ago, one was bought. Oh, you know? beautiful. Something like this. There are, all, there are still others that are more liquid. Yes. Let me go to Magic Eden. You see this one? Two minutes ago, three minutes ago, you know? Three minutes this ago. is another this site one. you can use, Magic This Eden. is another site. That's okay. about, so that our viewers can know the kind of sites they can go yeah, to. Yeah, this, okay, now, let me. Magic, uh, yeah. Magic Eden and all that. Yeah, okay. So let me go to, um, there are ecosystems. When you look at this um, OpenSea, it, it's more of Ethereum. Sorry, let me go back to OpenSea. This is OpenSea. It's more of Ethereum uh, NFTs here. Yes. And um, another blockchain that hosts um, NFTs is uh, Solana, yeah. Solana ecosystem. There is, um, there are other ones. There is Ronin, there is Ada, that's um, Cardano. Cardano, ADA. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, ADA. So those ones, I don't use them. I basically use OpenSea once in a while. Then I now go to Solana ecosystem. The ones I use in the Solana is um, one, Magic Eden. Let me bring it here. Magic Eden looks like this. Okay. This is Magic Eden. There is um, um, Solanat. This is how Solana looks like too. So you've mentioned three now. Can, yeah. can we do? Can you do me a favor, right? Yeah. Let's pick one of these sites, whether it's okay. Magic Eden, uh, OpenSea, or Solana. Let's oh, pick so a coin the, the and let's do it from. Let's do your process from. Assuming you want to buy that coin, but you won't finish executing that transaction, so that our beginners will know yeah. that this is what to do. If you go, you have mentioned the three sites already. I'm sure they can go over this video. Yes. Now let's go to one site, pick mm -hmm. a particular coin, tell us why you are picking it, and tell us what you are going to do with it, how to execute the transaction, and all that stuff. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. So um, now let me go to. There are two ways you can trade NFTs. One, you can buy it from the inception when they are minting. You know, um, so you mint it the first time, or you just go to the marketplace and buy it. For someone that's starting, it's better to mint it than to trade in the secondary market. Beautiful. Okay. Because you get it so, cheaper. Yes, you get it cheaper. Yeah. yeah. So now, and my suggestion is to start from Solana because you see they are cheaper. One Solana is just 200 and something, I think. Yeah. One Solana is just 200 and something. So you can go to Magic Kidden. I think Magic Kidden, when I started, Magic Kidden was, uh, was not as popular as uh, Solana. Well, I think he has overtaken Solana right now. You should be the biggest uh, uh, Solana ecosystem. So uh, Solana marketplace, okay? So when you go here and you want to see the upcoming, you, you check for the upcoming launches like this. Why do you check it on that home? Yeah, just home. You go to okay. upcoming launches. You see them here. Okay. Yeah, you see this one, so flowers. I think that one is launching today. The suites, I see it's already launching. Spawn Gods is also yeah, launching. Yeah. yeah, they are in fact, they are live now. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Okay. Now let me walk. Let me go through the wallet first. So the first thing you do when you are starting is to get a wallet, Ethereum wallet and Solana wallet. How do you do that? Okay. Okay. So you go to um, Ethereum wallet. The most popular, the one I use is um, MetaMask. So you go to metamask.io, um, download it here. Okay, it's just a Chrome, it's a Chrome extension. Okay. You install it, you go through steps. Uh, we, if we cover it here, we probably will not be able to do just, that. Just next. make it very short because I don't yeah. want, I, you know, yes. I told you I don't want this video yeah. to be more than like 30 minutes. Yeah, or, sure. But so minutes, yes. if you want to know how to do it, you just, um, go to YouTube and learn how to download this. So, but when you finish downloading it, you should look something like this here. Yeah. You have zero ETH, okay? Yeah. Now, when you want to transfer ETH to this place, whether from an exchange, whether from another wallet, it doesn't matter. This is the address you copy. You okay. copy this address, put it wherever it is you want to transfer it uh, from, and now yeah. transfer. So when you fund it, it's to, pro, to look something like, you know, this, okay? okay? You okay. have something, if it's one point, uh, 0 0.134 ETH you have, you know, that's to, to tell you the price. So yeah. these are, when you buy stuff, this is where it will show under. Yes, your balance. Uh, other, other, your uh, assets you bought. Assets, yes. Like that's a laid back llama. This is where, how it's showing here. Yes. Okay, but if you want to see it in the open sea, um, let's go to open sea. Um, then when you go to open sea, you, you, you click on this place to connect that your, um, you, to connect that your wallet to open sea. Okay, yeah. when you click on connect, you see other wallets, you see Coinbase, you see Wallet Connect, you see Fortmatic, but I, I'm using MetaMask is the most popular. So oh, you have an it. option of using Coinbase Wallet, Wallet yes. Connect, and Fortmatic as well. That's a part yeah. for Metamax. Yes. Okay. So you just, um, you connect. So let me connect now. So I'm connected. Okay. So now that my laid back llama, OpenSea can see it. Yes. So if I click on this place, on my profile, and... Um, See my laid back llama. Yeah. Okay. So this is what I'm selling it. And Four remember, five, six. It, yeah, this is what I want to sell it. Okay. So this is it here. Uh, that's for OpenSea. So let's go to Magic Eden. It's basically the same thing with uh, Solana. They're all Solana ecosystem. So what you use to buy and sell here is Solana. Okay. So I've already connected. Let me, this is what I have in my wallet. These are the stuff I have in my wallet. And I'm not selling them yet. Okay. Yeah. yeah. In my okay. Solana, in my, that's Phantom wallet. Okay. Let me click on it. This is my Phantom wallet. Let me put in the password. Oh, boom, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I don't want us to see your password. <laughs> no, sure. No. Okay. If you see it, I'll change it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So this is it. It's uh, opening. So these are the things I have. It's also the same thing. It looks like with MetaMask. Just basic, the same basic principles. Yeah. So these are the stuff I have there. This is an airdrop. This is what I have in my wallet one. Also, part of the ways of safeguarding yourself from... Sorry, sorry. you can also have airdrops for NFT. Yeah. So that yeah. our viewers know also. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, these are air, this one and this one, they are airdrops. This okay. one is, looks like a scam token. I don't know what to do with it. But okay. uh, anytime I want it out of here, I will just um, send it to, I can open a wallet, I'll just send it to any wallet, it will go. Okay. Okay. Like now, if I send it, it will leave my wallet. Okay. But uh, yeah. So those, those are the things that can happen to, I don't know who sent this thing to me. It's probably one of those people in uh, Twitter that will say, post your wallet address okay. for, for them to do something. But if they don't have your private keys, that's another yeah. thing when you're opening a wallet, 
the private keys, you should try to save it. Because if you yeah. lose it, that's it. And if somebody has access to your private keys, they can do a lot of things to you. And also, those people that will ask you for your private keys, no matter who it is, please do not give for yeah. the uh, beginners. If you give your private keys, you've handed everything to the person. The person can do anything he likes with your wallet. Yeah. Also, another way to safeguard your wallet from these uh, criminals is to have one more than one or two, uh, more than one wallet. Like I have wallet two. You can create as much as possible. Then put your phones there. When you want to buy anything, you just move the phones you need to that wallet. Okay. Okay. So one would be so, like a reserve wallet and the other a trading wallet. Yes, a trading wallet. That's yeah. it. Okay. So that's basically uh, getting started. Okay. But all these things, why, why don't we try and execute a transaction as I suggested okay. from beginning okay. to the end and okay. just take us through? Yeah. So I, I, I've just described opening the wallet. Now, let me say yeah. uh, I'm interested in uh, a project. Where can you find the project? That's the question. You can okay. find them on Twitter. Let me okay. come to Twitter. Uh, let me open Twitter. Okay. This is Twitter. I can come here and say mm, NFT. I can just say NFT. Okay. I, I can say upcoming. Let me narrow the search and say upcoming NFT. Okay, good, we're here. Okay. So you see all these ones. Um, you click on it, 7,449 people follow us, okay? They, they just started 2021 October. That's when this Twitter account was opened. Um, now, sometimes they will put in their Discord link here, or this link tree. This link tree will now contain all their contacts, their websites, everything they have, okay? This is their website, Magic Eden. You can say, okay, let me go check. Okay, let's go to their website first. Okay. okay. Um, you can connect your wallet here. Meet the skeletons. Mm -hmm. This is their roadmap. This is this tells you where they are going, like their plans. You know yeah. where they are going. What advantage you stand to gain yeah. from holding this NFT? Yeah, yeah. You can go through them. Um, so I can go to FAQ to see what's the mint price. The mint price is zero point seven nine. Mint supply is 6,666. Mint date is 29th. So it has already been minted. So we don't need this. Okay. Um, okay, but at least this is an example of what and what yeah. to look for. Yes, let, let, let me get, let me get what, okay, what I will do. You can get from uh, Twitter. I do that, but you, you can also get from some other site. There are a lot of sites, but let's use Magic Eden, for instance. There's um, Solana Art too. You can use that too. This coming soon on Solana Art. Yes. Uh, yeah. So you can use this. Met Let's use Lunaroid. We click on it. It takes us to their Twitter. So the mint uh, mint date is January twentieth. Okay. Just a couple uh, how of many days followers? Yeah, twelve thousand seven hundred people. Decent. Oh, oh, hold on a second. How, how many followers would you be comfortable with? Would you be comfortable uh, with 500 followers, 200 followers? How many followers will you be comfortable with? Because it, it that is a major the, area. Yes, as well. it depends at the point you get into it. Okay. So, like, I'm comfortable with these 12,700 followers. At the point of minting? Mm, no, it, right now, because the minting date is still 20th. Okay. And I, you know, a lot of things come into play. So you, you can't be rigid. One okay. is how many F NFT collection? How many N uh, NFTs are in the collection? 
8,888. Uh, it's a little bit high, but it okay. still won't stop you from uh, following this. Like now, what I do is I have um, a sort of um, like a spreadsheet okay. that I put the ones I'm watching, something like this. Okay. I can just put it in the spreadsheet so yeah. that I can come back later and take a look. Okay. Okay, so, so let's use this uh, Lunaroid as an example. How would yeah. you execute this trade? So this Lunaroid, I, I look at it. Uh, I check out, uh, are they active? Now I can now say, okay, let me put it in my, then I will look at, are there people I'm following that are also following this? I see Infinity Drake's NFT evolution is following them. Matt is following them. Rick Bass Bakakas. Rick Bakakas or something is yeah. following them. Okay. Mm. I should look at this, right? So because you know these guys as well. Yes, I know these guys as well. So mm, this looks good. I can say, okay, now let me check, let me check their Discord. Okay. I, I've clicked on their link tree. So this should be their website. I'll take a look at their website, maybe go through the, the artwork is not bad, it's cool. And um, team, I look at the team. The team seems to be doxxed. Uh, they are not that very much doxxed. What, what we call doxxed in um, uh, crypto NFT. or NFT okay. space, is uh are these people do we know them are they identified yeah okay these people they don't have their full names here so they're not they don't have their faces too yeah it, they don't even need to have their faces they can even have these avatars or whatever okay. but still with their names so that we can check them on linkedin check them on yeah. facebook you yeah. know when did they open the facebook what have they done before you know those kind of things that's but, but you can't check for. these people right now no you we can't. can't check them, but let's go to the um, Discord, Discord community. Okay, they have twenty thousand people in their Discord. Quite um, not bad. So how many of them are online? Three thousand. Like me, my threshold is ten percent. At least let ten percent be online. So they seem to be active, and even their white list is full. That's another thing too. That's another terminology. What is whitelist? Whitelist are those people they give because um, for a very popular NFT collection, sometimes the minting just take two minutes and this 8,000 units will be, will all be gone. gone. Like, yeah. like laid back Lama was just two minutes. The gas war was off the hinges. Yeah. So this one, the whitelist is still even full. So it will not be the fastest finger, but on Solana, no problem. But if you go to like Ethereum, in Ethereum, you can buy, uh, say the price of the NFT is $500. You can pay up to $600 just to buy it. Yeah. $600 gas fees, you know, because wow. everybody wants to buy it. So it takes the gas fees up because there's competition. Yeah. yeah. That's another thing on Ethereum blockchain. Is so that's why they want to move from proof of um, work to proof of stake. Of that's Ethereum yes. point, two point zero. Two point zero. It will yeah. happen sometime this year. They keep yes. shifting it, but don't know when it is when it's gonna happen. Okay. So you now go to say the um, announcements. You can see more details there, and go through them. How to mint. Yeah, it describes where they are going to meet. Sometimes even the maintenance site is hidden. So here, you see, they even describe the, the, the setup of your phantom wallet, how you are going to set it up and all those things. Yeah, but if you have already lent it, you don't need all these things. Yeah. And uh, general, let me see if they have a general. Okay, this is general. Is yeah, so this is where everybody comes to uh, chat. And most times in the, the white list, they give you whitelist spots, consider, uh, uh, considering how active and useful you are in the general chat, maybe answering questions, chatting other um, community members. So they, they have levels. You can get to, they can say, okay, if you level up to 15, 
you get a white list spot. If you level up to 20, it depends on the, uh, they have a lot of tasks. They can say, if you invite this number of people, you get a white list, you know? So they have a lot of activities. So yeah. you see it under announcement, you see it under the general sections too, or you see it how to mint or how to get a white list. So that's the thing. So for this one, I think, I think uh, they have 20,000 members, mm, not bad. So I can also go to their, now, okay, let's see their links. Mm, their website. Okay, this is their website. Roadmap. So I will go through their roadmaps. Like now, for me already, I've already, this one is already in my, in my uh, spreadsheet. So I'll be monitoring them, looking at what they are doing and uh, looking at the engagement. The number one thing, no matter how good an NFT project is, if they don't have a good community, if they don't have people who are enthusiastic about buying it, they won't go anywhere. Like this one, the, 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 NFT meeting date is already 20, it's 20th. Right now they have more than 10,000 followers. Wow. That's, good, that's good enough for me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So another thing too is when you are minting, the speed with which they are taking up the uh, NFT. Okay, let's go back to Magic Eden. There's launch pad. That is where you mint. Okay, look at this suite. It will be maintained in two hours time. Uh, Spawn gods. This thing I mentioned, it has not, I don't know why people are not minting it enough. Everything, they have a very good, uh, a large community. And, um, but I, they, I, they, they also have a game coming up, but I don't know why people are not minting. So let's say I want to mint more than one and I mint the first one and it's taking time to complete. I will leave it. Okay. But what mm -hmm. I've noticed in the past two days is some of them will still take this time and still come out in the marketplace increasing. That's increasing in price. This one has already finished selling out. So they should be in market uh, place now. So let's see. You know, so no. what, what, sorry to cut you short. So no now problem. at the point of minting, when you successfully mint, it goes into your wallet until they yeah. launch. Yes, they most times, yeah. Most times they just launch immediately. Sometimes they take a few minutes. Like this one, I'm sure they've launched. Let's check. Okay, it was minted for 0 0.99. Okay. And that's, that's the that cheapest be... you can get that NFT. 0 0.9. Yes. Okay. Uh, that was what mint... he meant. Yeah. yeah. Yes. No, it just means that uniform distance, 0 0.9, and no matter which yeah. one you're buying. Yes. Yeah. So now, see, the floor price is 1.5. That means none of them is selling for less than 1.5. So for something, you, um, they've not even revealed it. Sometimes it takes a while to reveal. They've not even revealed it. It has gone up to 1.5. Yeah, Maybe when profit. they reveal it, it yeah. will go up. So that means already made profits. You've already made profit already. Mm -hmm. And when was this thing minted? It was minted. Uh, no, let me check. Mm, it was probably minted yesterday or today. I think it was minted today. So today already, you've already made 50%. You can also lose like that too. Okay. Yeah. Well, what are the chances of the prices going down below the minted value? If he has an active community, if he minted first, the chances are quite low. Okay, fine. So what the would be the gas? As, uh, uh, Magic Aiden is a Solana... Um, yes, price, the right? gas is negligible. Yeah, so the it's gas is sense. negligible, it's insane. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. So all it's you not even up to one dollar. So all you need to do right now after minting and in, in your wallet is to now mm -hmm. put it up for sale. Yes, you put how it up, you it will be up for sale. Okay, it will be in your wallet. Let me just use one. Um, an example. Yeah. Okay.
Okay, look at this, for instance. Um, let me go to home. Collections. collections. It will be in your collections, right? Or what? Uh, let me check. Okay. They, they, they just changed, they just changed the look and feel of this uh, website. Recently. Maybe a day or two ago. Okay. It looks different now. Let me. More. Okay, let me just click here and see. Not there. Have you minted any of recent? Yeah, I, I minted today. I, I minted that spawn gods, but when I saw it wasn't going first, I stopped minting. Okay. I minted a couple. I minted this today. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let me just, okay. Um, I don't know why I can't see where. New. Why not? No. Okay. Collection. Okay, let me just click new. New is just new. Um, okay. I don't know. Okay, let me go to Solana and show you. Okay. Obviously, they have not changed their own. Um... No, they have not changed their stuff. Okay. You minted on Solana as well. I can sell it anywhere, any, any um, Solana marketplace. I okay. bought it in market Eden, but if Solana listed it, I can sell it there too. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay, wallets. Yeah, click on wallets. Okay. So I'll warrior. See, uh, okay. Yeah. So warrior. Um. Um. I I bought it. I bought this one in the marketplace. Okay. I'm not ready to sell it yet. Okay. Yeah. Why is so that? I can you say, want the okay. price to increase. Pardon? You want the price to increase? Why I want the want price to increase. Okay. Yeah, I want the price to increase. They still have other things in their roadmap that is coming up. So okay. when they announce those things, those are the catalysts that um, increase uh, the drives the price and the demand. Okay. okay like this goblin army, let me sell one. Let you don't need to complete the trade if you are not ready to sell. Just no, it doesn't matter. Okay. I can cancel it because there are no gas fees here. Okay. Or if you were, I, I can't do it in Ethereum because just listing it, you need you will pay something. Okay. Let me say zero point um, five. Okay. Or six. Okay. Okay. You will see how much you will receive. You will receive zero point five six. This Solana is much more user friendly than most of, like it's much more user friendly than um, Magic Eden. So you okay. will see because in Magic Eden you will not see how much you are going to receive, but it will tell you. Okay. The artist will also receive. Okay. The person, yeah. So now the you owner this of this artist will always receive something anytime an NFT is sold. That's okay. how it usually is. Okay. Yeah. So so like now, if you have your own NFT, I you meant you minted and other people bought each time in the life of that asset that is sold, you get something. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. So at this so, point, all you need to do is put up, put for sale. Yeah. And so now Solana. Yeah, Solana will only, also receive theirs too. 0 0.02. Yeah. So I put it for sale now. Okay. It will say confirm. I say yeah. Okay. So it's listed. Done. Okay. Beautiful. So that, that's basically it. So can you wrap up in bullet points right now? Okay. Uh, you have taken us through how to purchase. Just wrap yeah. up in bullet points when okay. you want to when you want to buy as a beginner. Look for this, look for that, look for this, look for that. Buy the coins at, at meeting stage, then you can sell at a profit. Can you just give us in like 60 seconds a bullet point okay. what a beginner should look out for? Because this is okay. a beginner's video, it's not an expert video that you need yes. to go into so much details. But at least okay. let's be able to grab the essentials of I'm buying at this point and I'm selling at this point, just in like 60 seconds. Okay. So um, the first thing you do is, which one do you want to buy? You do your research. You go to other Solana. You can go to um, Magic Eden. There are other websites also you can go to. Um, you can just type in Google. All these things are research. You can go to yeah. YouTube and say, how do I 
get new NFT uh, upcoming projects. You get that. So when you have decided the one you want, for me, if I don't like the artwork, I don't buy. Yeah. Because you might not be able to sell it. So you can just keep it and admire the artwork. Yeah. So you start from there. I yeah. buy the ones I like the artwork. Unless the thing is so, it has a very strong community and I'm sure that it's going to go up. So yeah. I can just buy it. That's number one. So when you buy that, also do not use more than say 10% of your portfolio oh. value to yeah. buy an, one NFT unless you so, so much believe in it. So I can't tell you what to do. You know what your risk criteria is. So that's number one. Uh, number two, uh, buy that one that uh, element and don't buy in the marketplace. You can buy in the marketplace if you want. If you are following yeah. people, there are also you, great communities yeah. that, that are paid, some are not paid that you know, people come up with projects. The thing is that no one person can come with a good project. So it's good to whatever it is you are doing, you are in the community of people who do it. So people can raise it and say, okay, this is why I'm buying it. They have a strong team, especially go for projects that they have a track record. That's the promoters. Yeah. They have and a the very good track record. The financiers of, uh, of the project also are prob probably yeah. popular uh, organizations yes. that are financing yeah. the project. Fine. Not really financing in this at this stage. Partners, partners. The creators, yeah, yeah okay, the creators. people that are creating it, okay. the artists. Uh -huh. uh, there are some artists that has made great movies too, you know. Yeah. So when you see that track record, you know that these people have done great things, you know. Yeah. So you mm -hmm. buy into it. Then you see the. You also check there are authorities on NFTs, you know. That when you see their name, like. Um, Gary V, yeah. um, like other influencers on in NFTs. Let me see. Um, I think I have. Uh, I think I created a list. I, I can't remember. I created. I have a list somewhere. Okay. I have a list somewhere. Of so, those that you watch. Yes, those I watch. I watch. I follow them on Twitter. So when they tweet something about that, uh, I study it a little bit better. Not uh, especially when I see uh, one, two, or three of them following that NFT man. Sometimes I don't even research it anymore because those <laughs> okay. people, yeah, because those people they have huge followership. Because it's not as if I'm going to hold it for a lifetime. I just want to yeah. flip. Yeah. Yeah. So when I see those people, I just um, I, I just follow them on Twitter, go to their Discord, and um, where's Discord? Go to their Discord and see what they are doing and start following and start getting uh, the uh, details. So details I get, mid price, websites, um, white lists, what yeah. am I to do? What am I supposed to do to get into the white list? If I can get into, the, if I can get into the white list, I'll say, okay, let me check if, it, I, I will now start following them to ensure that once the uh, maintenance starts, you know, you just click. Some of them, I've seen maintenance end in 20 seconds. Wow. I have seen so it end need, in 15. You need to have information that this project is coming out and be yeah. ready to mint it at yeah. that particular time it's going to be minted. Yes. Yeah. Beautiful. So Beautiful. you just wait. There, why I can't have a list is that a lot of projects come out in different ways. In fact, there are some projects they don't have any public sale. It's just white list, the pre-sale. Oh, yeah. The pre-sale, that's where everything ends, okay? Yeah. Some projects also like laid back Lama, some of their holders will get into the white list of other projects of their partners. Some NFT projects also partner with other NFTs. So those are the things. Fantastic. Thank you very, very much. We cannot obviously take, you, you can stop sharing now. We cannot oh, okay. obviously um, take all the um, um, aspects of um, yeah. NFT trading in this single video because I'm sure it's very, very deep. But very, thank very you so much, John, for at least yeah. explaining the basics to 
our viewers okay. on the um, uh, our basics to our viewers on the yeah. um, on how a beginner can start can start profiting from yeah. I'm, 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 I'm exiting. You can stop it from your side. I can't see the button that's, here. That's what I want to do right now. Yeah. Um, okay, hold on a second. I, I'll do that okay. right now. Okay. Okay, fantastic. I think we are back here. Okay, okay thank you very okay. much, John, for giving us yeah. the basics on how a beginner can actually start off with um, uh, trading in NFT. You have shown us that actually money can be made very, yeah, sure. very fast within yeah. a couple of days, within a couple of weeks. Hours. You, mm -hmm. Within a couple of hours, you can make 50%, yeah. you can make 100%, and it's that good. So as I always say on this channel, this is not financial advice. Do your own research. Sure. You can watch the video all over again several times to ensure that you follow the processes and all that. And try your hands out. It is only when you do practical that you can know the theory better. We'll only give you the theories and do a little bit of practical, but you also have to put in the little money to try and experiment with uh, buying on the various platforms that have been mentioned, um, uh, uh, Ocean, uh, Eden, and all the Open rest Open sea and yeah, uh, Solana yeah. and the rest of them. Experiment so with it. Yes. Experiment with it and see how it works for you. Don't put in too much money. By the time you put in uh, a little bit and you gain some confidence, I'm sure you will learn how to trade better. And if you like this content, please do smash the like button, subscribe, share with your friends so that we can all make money together and be rich. John, thank you so much. Until thank I see you again, I'm sure I'm going to invite you on some other theme on this channel. But until I see you again, and until our viewers see you again, thank you so much. And nice for Thank you for having me. Thank you yeah. so much, John. Take care and okay. have a wonderful evening. Thank you.